Hey guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create like a justified text design, not unlike this t-shirt I'm wearing. In fact, the same exact technique that I used to create it. It's actually one I've already recorded a long time ago, and I felt like it was a little bit buried on the channel because of how I sort of positioned uh, some of my videos. So I felt like it deserved a video of its own, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to create another artboard so that I have this artboard here with all this. So we're just going to copy that. Um, by going to document setup, edit artboards. I'm gonna, I have an artboard here, I can move it around. If I hold option, click and drag, and hold shift, I can, I can drag that artboard out and duplicate it over here. Now I'm just gonna go back to the selection tool and I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything that I have here so that I can show you guys from start to finish how to create this little poster effect. All right, first thing I wanna do is create my background. I'm gonna select this, ooh, I'm gonna select this yellow color up here. And then I'm going to select the rectangle tool, click in the upper left hand corner of my artboard and just drag down to the lower right hand corner. From there I can let go and I have a background for my artboard. Use the selection tool and I can click on it and then align it and make sure it's aligned to the artboard, not the selection. And then I'm going to horizontal, vertical, and we will lock that in with command two. So now I have a nice yellow background. So how do I create this little effect here that says, says be creative? Well, I'm gonna create a text box like we did earlier. Same way, about the size of, that you know I want it to be on here. It's gonna fill it in with a bunch of text. That's okay. Let's go ahead and type out be creative. I'm gonna use caps lock and just do be creative. No spaces yet. Then I'm gonna highlight that. I'm gonna change this to the font that I have, which is program, that's a, uh, type kit font and I'm not sure why it's showing up all the way down here but I'm gonna click on the bold so program OT bold you can go to the type kit and download that or just find your own bold font so we have be creative written out here now remember I can actually justify this text uh, by clicking on paragraph and going to justify we're gonna justify all the lines perfect now I want to scale this up let's go to 50 I'm just gonna kind of guess guesstimate until I find that maybe 75 that might be a little much we'll go we'll back it down to 70 I have the text um, justified and it's sized about right I'm gonna go to paragraph and turn off the hyphenate so now I'm gonna break this out in the same way so a row of two and then three three and two so I'm gonna hit enter go ahead and hit return on that and then I'm gonna hit enter after the CRE I'm gonna hit enter after the in between the I and the V and I have my text, but why is this so separated? Oh, that's because it's all justified. What I can do is add a character. So let's say we just add like a hyphen in, and that's gonna bump that B over so it's lined up with um, the center column. And then I can do the same thing after the E down here, enter in a hyphen and it's gonna line that E up with the center and the V is already justified left and the E up here is already justified right, so we're all good. If I want to preview this while it's still editable, I could uh, take those little hyphens and change their color to the color of the background. That'll make them disappear, um, sort of. They're still there, but you can't see them. So you could preview this and then um, you know, edit it later. However, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that back because I'm gonna show you how to line this up. So you notice that I actually have this lined up pretty well, everything's centered. But look, this B here is actually out of line with the R, the, uh, the I over here is out of line with the E. So we're gonna to wanna to center those up and sort of finalize this. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure I got all the sizing and spacing correct by clicking on the R text box. And then I'm gonna bring back that uh, that background color with that we that we locked earlier. I'm gonna hit Option Command Two. It's gonna bring back any locked layers, and I'm gonna select both of these, the text box and the background. I'm gonna click on the background, and now I'm aligning to that background as a key object. So if I hit the horizontal align center and vertical align center, it's gonna line up that text box in the very center of this. I think it's a little close to the edge here, so I'm just gonna click on that text box and hover over the uh, edge of it here in the very center and I can adjust the centering of this but if I do this just like that I'm gonna have to recenter it up so what I can do is actually hold option while I uh, click and, and pull that in and it's gonna pull it in from the center 
So now I can just line this up and get the spacing that I want. Maybe I want a little bit more line spacing here. So I'm gonna go up to character and then underneath the uh, letting settings here, I'm actually just gonna increase that a little bit. We'll try to match the, uh, the poster we had before. That looks good. So now we're all lined up. I'm going to outline the text next. That way we can center everything up. Go up to type and then down to create outlines. Also shift command O. And what that does is it basically creates a shape out of each one of these letters that we had before. So it's not editable anymore. So at this point you've kind of gone past, you're finalizing your design. You don't have an editable design anymore um, from, a, from a type standpoint. This is all grouped together. So I'm gonna ungroup it with shift command G. Also I can right click and hit ungroup. And now we can start to align the stuff. First thing we could do is actually delete our hyphens so we can just get rid of those guys, delete. And then I wanna line up maybe everything on the C, R, and the E. We're gonna select everything in this column by clicking on it and then holding shift and clicking on each object. Then I'm gonna let go of shift, click on the E, and you'll notice it's highlighted now. That means we're aligning on that as a key object. And I'm just gonna hit the uh, horizontal align center. That's gonna bring the I over into the center of the E. Let's do the same thing with each of these. Hold shift, click through each of them, then click, let go of shift, click on the R, and we'll do the horizontal line center. That's gonna bring everything centered up on that R. We'll do the same thing here with the C. Shift, click each of these, click on the C. Horizontal align, that's just gonna line everything up. So the last thing I wanna do is probably just group everything together except for the background, so we'll shift click that to deselect it. We've got all my letters selected. Let's go ahead and hit Command G. That'll group them together. Now I can sort of move them around. And I'm gonna shift click on my background and then click on it without shift to highlight it, make it the key object. And I'm gonna make sure everything's centered up, horizontal and vertical. There we go. So that's how you create this kind of cool typographic poster um, with justified text. Hope you guys learned something. Once again, like this video. Check out the rest of the channel. Subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys later.